Number 51, we are going to find the points on the curve y is equal to 2x to a third power plus 3x squared minus 12x plus 1, where the tangent is horizontal. And the key is this, for any horizontal line, regardless if it's a tangent line or like the lines are used to doing algebra, horizontal line will have slope is equal to zero. So in this case, our question is pretty much saying, we like to know at what x value so that we will be able to get the slope of tangent line, which is the derivative, and the derivative of that is going to be zero. This is the key. All right? Then, this is how we're going to do it. We know that our original curve is going to be um, 2x to a third power plus 3x squared minus 12x plus 1. I need to find the x value so that y prime is equal to zero. So of course, I will need to get the derivative, the y prime, right? I can just use the power rule right away. So I bring the exponent to the front, 2 times 3 is going to be 6x to the second power because I have to minus 1. And I'm going to add the derivative of 3x squared, which is going to be 6x to the first. The derivative of negative 12x is just going to be minus 12. The derivative of 1 is equal to 0. So this is it for the y prime, all right? Then, as I said here, we are going to set this equal to zero because we are trying to find the horizontal tangent line. We are trying to find out where is y prime equal to zero. So we set this equal to zero. And here we have a quadratic equation. We are going to solve it. I have 6, 6, negative 12. Let's factor out the 6 first. And I'll get x squared plus x minus 2 equals to 0. And now I, have to, I just have to uh, factor this out completely and then I'll uh, solve for x. So to factor this part out, I know x and x produce the x squared. And to produce negative 2, uh, I will need positive 2 and minus 1. Because positive 2 minus 1 will give you the plus 1, right? And to solve for x, in this case, we are going to end up with two answers. You set the first parentheses. The 6 doesn't really matter, by the way, right? You first set x plus 2 equal to 0, and the second part, x minus 1 is equal to 0. And the first answer you are going to get is x is equal to negative 2. And right here, you are going to get x is equal to 1. This is going to be the x values. This is going to be the x values so that you will get horizontal tangent line. If we do know the x value when x is equal to negative 2, then we know y is going to be just plugging negative 2 into the original equation. And I'll end up with, let me just show you guys the work, 2 times parentheses negative 2 to the third power plus 3 parentheses negative 2 squared minus 12 times negative 2 plus 1. Whew, I have enough space. So the y value. Uh, so the y value we are going to get is, you just do the computation, you know, just work this out, you are going to get 21. So the first point is negative 2, 21. And likewise, if x is equal to 1, you just set y equals to 2 times 1 to the third power plus 3 to the 1 to the second power minus 12 times 1 plus 1, and the y value that you are going to get for that is, is equal to negative 6. So the first point is negative 2, comma 21. This is the first point. And the second point, after you plug in 1 into the original equation, you produce a y value, and you get 1, comma negative 6. And these two are the answer. This point and that point. You have two points.